The Democratic Republic of Congo's National Election Commission will today start announcing the results of the general election after two days of voting. The voting extended into the second day on Thursday due to challenges, including delays and chaos at some polling stations. The vice president of the election commission, known as Seni, said the electoral process went on much more smoothly on Thursday and that provisional results would start trickling in from Friday. 44 million voters were registered to take part in the presidential, parliamentary, provincial and municipal polls. About 100,000 people are vying for the various positions in the polls, while 22 of them are going for the presidency, including incumbent Felix Shisekedi. Provisional results of the presidential polls are expected on the 30th of December, with the final tally of results being declared on the 10th of January. Well, let's cross over to CGTN's Chris Ochamringa. He's in Kinshasa for us. Chris, so what's the latest from Kinshasa as many await the results to start trickling in? So be true. Yeah, Beatrice, vote counting is underway in all the polling stations that were given an extension uh, because of the delays and technical problems that were witnessed on Wednesday, on the election day on Wednesday. And the Electoral Commission has uh, said that uh, they have already got partial results from some of the provinces. And they have invited all the presidential candidates to come to their tallying center in Kinshasa to witness this uh, ex exercise as they announce these uh, partial results. Uh, we, uh, this move is aimed at you know, promoting transparency uh, because there have been concerns by some opposition candidates that the Electoral Commission is trying to rig this vote in favor of the incumbent President Felix Chisekedi. Uh, we also had some opposition members saying that they have rejected this outcome and are calling for a rerun. We've also heard from some uh, observers from the Catholic and Protestant churches uh, saying that they recorded more than a thousand irregularities across the country. Many of them were related to the delays in uh, starting the voting process. There was an issue of faulty electronic voter voting machines and uh, missing names on the voters list. They also mentioned that there were some polling stations located inside uh, 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 headquarters of political parties, which is against the law. So all this information has been issued by these uh, observers and uh, Congolese people are very keenly following what's happening. We're expecting to see some legal uh, challenges to the conduct of this election by, by, by some citizens or members of the opposition. Chris, so describe for us, you know, the life in the city, in the city and the mood during this period between the voting and the declaration of the final results, which are expected in just over a week's time. Well, Kinshasa is back to its usual hustle and bustle. You know, traders, uh, businessmen and uh, taxis are all out in the streets. You know, in Lingala, they call it, uh, they say here that Batubazolu uh, Kamadesu Yabana. It means, you know, people going through the daily grind of life, looking for food to feed their children. You know, the DRC is a very large country, more than 100 million people, but there are very few jobs. So while the election is a very important uh, day, event, for millions of people here, they have to, you know, start going back and, you know, trying to put food on the table. But we've also heard from some opposition members that they have been holding a number of meetings, trying to strategize and plan for their next course of action after they disagreed with uh, the conduct of this election and, and asked for fresh polls to be organized by a totally new team of electoral uh, officials. Something that is very unlikely to happen given the costs, the time, that the country has spent in organizing this, these polls. We've also seen some, uh, the deployment of uh, anti-riot police officers at the headquarters of the Electoral Commission and the Tallying Center uh, with armored vehicles. I think uh, they are trying to prevent uh, any protests from breaking out because of you know, what happened on Wednesday on Election Day. Uh, and the government you know, has, has, has issued a statement saying that you know, they are calling on people to remain peaceful despite all the challenges that uh, occurred in this uh, voting period. And they don't expect anyone to cause trouble because they are ready to crack down hard on, on, on anyone who tries to, to cause problems in this country.